Hey guys, it's Jessica here and today I'm going to be doing another food trip episode and it's not going to be the normal pavo burrito or any other food trip we did but we're going to be doing specifically the viral TikTok food. You know there are a lot of viral TikTok foods right that you can see on TikTok especially like the food commonly see on a daily basis but it's like specially altered so first location we're at Apple Market so we're gonna go get the best palabo let's go guys this is like OG market vibe there's like wholesale is that the palabo? no not inside I'm more also there I not just one palabo place oh my god guys this is very OG okay guys we're here the famous palabo pastora special fancy palabo place Okay, isang palabo, isang halo-halo ko. <laughs> wow, this is 1940? Oh my god, guys, look at this. This shows how very famous this place is. Alright guys, so the very famous palabo. Honestly guys, it's also the start of summer, right? I'm dying right now. It's like really hot right now. So their palabo, this is 80 pesos and it looks really different from the usual palabok I know. I'm gonna make a little confession now. I'm actually not a fan of palabo. I don't know why. That's why you know the famous palabo from Jollibee. Even that I nope. don't really like. The reason why I don't like palabo is because it tastes too bland. There's no texture, it's just noodles. But this one, it's got like chicharron, egg, liver. So we're gonna try it out. The palabo with chicharron, the famous super old palabo. So good. Guys, this doesn't taste like the palabok we know. First thing I noticed, the garlic. Very strong garlic flavor. I think it's the garlic flake. And then this chicharron. Is this really chicharron? It's not really chicharron. The chicharron is very high quality. It's not the usual very light textured chicharron. Best palabok ever. I also like how it's very hot. Palabok doesn't have peanut in it, right? The reason why I said that is because it has some like peanut nutty flavor, which makes it really like another level rich flavor. Not just garlic, but there's another like nutty flavor added in here. It tastes like peanut, but it's not. So I'm, I'm really shocked because I love this kind of flavor, but I couldn't eat because I'm allergic to peanut. I'm really shocked by this detail. Even their egg is like soft boiled egg. Tender. It's got some tofu in it too. This one really got a lot of protein. Usually palabo is really soft and creamy and there's no texture, but then this one is like really even the chicharron itself, it's like huge and very flavorful. The amount of eggs and the amount of sauce and the amount of like liver and different parts. 80 pesos. It's really good. It's a perfect breakfast meal. And then you know what? There's a line right now. This place is so famous. It's super famous. It's super busy right now. Like there's different palabo places out here, but this place Alaga is really like loaded with people right now. So I think I have to eat best. This is the only drink, Halo Halo. Guys, they have my favorite sago topping. Guys, this Halo Halo is totally my style. You know what? They don't have other toppings that I don't like in Halo Halo. They only have the ones I like. These are my favorite toppings, guys. It's really the season of halo halo now. It's really like the halo halo I made in my summer treats vlog, guys. Only like easy to chew kind of toppings inside. Guys, right, look at the vibes of like us, just like we're just doing one line and one line and eating. It's very OG vibes. Coco Martin, he came here. How was that? It's very big. Bogey. Very <laughs> so what's the secret to your palabo? Secret is secret. Para <laughs> it's so sarapa. Right. I honestly did not expect palabo to be that good. It was really good. It was so hot. It was just really hot inside though. Like uh, to the point that I couldn't function properly. But the palabo, that's my favorite palabo now. Favorite. I'm only gonna eat palabo there now. Alright guys, so after having some amazing palabok as our appetizer, we were going to the second TikTok viral restaurant here in Manila. And it's a dessert place. Donut. And I can already see it, that it's a famous place. Cause look at the line. There's a long line, it's really TikTok famous. Pea donuts. What is the meaning of pea? Papa pea. Who's that celebrity? What? This is not just a small place. Is it a chain? Yeah? Filipino? Maybe Piolo Pascual started it. The owner? Hindi naman. Fries. Fries. Yeah. The lowest price is 15 pesos. 15? Oh my 
right, guys. We're here. with a very long line. Support local, Filipino. This is the Mega Star Combo, which is like, these are all their Filipino flavored donuts. So they have like normal like sugar glaze, like strawberry and different kinds, chocolate, but this is the Filipino edition. So of course we got the Pinoy flavors. Let's try. I love pastillas, guys, it's my favorite. You know that, right? I've never tried a donut that tastes like pastilla. This one really tastes like pastilla. This is really the flavor babies will like. So as I'm seeing the whole design of this place and stuff, the prices and the donuts, it's really targeting the market now. It's like, well, it's probably like so expensive, but it's also very affordable. So I get it. Why it got viral on TikTok. And the donuts are also very fresh right now. Mango. Wow, this is really good. The cream, it's a flavor I never tasted in a donut. Wow, it's so sweet. It's custard cream that tastes like mango, but it's not like the artificial, very strong, sour kind of mango flavor. It blends very well with the cream. Wow, really good. But then, it's sweet. It's sweet, it's sweet, guys. Have you guys ever tried this kind of donut? Never, right? It's really their own thing. Chocolate and yema. Wait, okay, I want to show the inside first. Ah, uh, this one. <laughs> Okay, there's nothing inside. <laughs> but I want to get the yema. Wow. I just noticed something really good in their donut. I mean, it's an affordable donut and it's a chocolate donut. It's actually not really chocolate, right? It's actually sugar glaze mixed with cocoa powder. It tastes like sugar more than chocolate. But in this one, it tastes really like chocolate cream. Like rich chocolate flavor. Banana cube! That's why it has the banana cube! Here. it. I like this kind of like creme brulee kind of like hard thing on top. Never tried this kind of flavor before, but really if banana cube became a donut, it's this kind of flavor. Again, I'm really impressed about the cream. And then because of the creme brulee kind of like coating outside, I love the texture. Like ube macapuno. I thought it's gonna taste really strong like ube, but then it has a very subtle, very, very subtle ube flavor, the one on top. It's not strong, the ube flavor. I gonna admit, I'm not a fan of sweets. You know that, right? And these are really sweet. It's sweet. One last. Choco nut. You know, when we think of choco nut, it's the crumble, like, peanut chocolate thing that we know of. And I used to love it as a child before I had peanut allergy. But this is chocolate and coconut. This one also. Look how thick the chocolate cream is. It's coconut cream. It doesn't taste like the fresh coconut, fresh or The a cream inside, the caramelized coconut cream kind of vibes. Yeah, my favorite flavor, guys. It's the chocolate. I love how thick the chocolate is outside. And then also the cream, caramelized coconut cream kind of vibes. And then the banana, the banana cream, because the crunch outside is so good. And then the mango crunch. Top three. Ah, so it can be P for Pascual. It can be P for Pinoy. Is that the reason why it's P? <laughs> It's just freshly cooked, guys. Ah! Mm. This is a flavor Filipinos will love. It tastes like ensaimada, how there's cheese inside, and then it's also sweet on the outside. Super fluffy. It's like cotton candy. It's like a new go-to pasta lubong place before visiting someone's house. I, I got sweetness overdose right now, guys, so I need to stop. I eat something salty. You know that sweet and salty dynamic? You eat salty, you want to eat sweet. So we're going to go ahead and complete our sweet, salty, sweet, salty dynamic now. Let's go. Alright guys, so now I've digested all my sugar from pea donut. We're down to the third location which is going to be the trendy balut. So right, how can balut get trendy? Let's figure it out. So this place is Barangay La Loma. So it's a, uh, as you can see, very homey vibes right now. Kids are playing. This is kind of the vibe I really grew up in in Bacolod. Hi! I'm not Chinese! <laughs> Indiaco Chinese! Okay guys, so this is the famous grilled balut place and as you can see again, all the stickers of the famous artist. My balut lang, diba? Yes. Yeah, isa lang po. Ate, since when is this place? Gano katagal? 
Isang buwan. Isang buwan? Ah! Sobrang bago. Okay. And then trendy na agad. Yes. Happy? Yes. How much is isang balot? 30. Thank you. Oh! Ate, ha? <laughs> so this is the famous sweet chili balot. I'm gonna observe how he eats first. Parang how they're eating is not the OG way, ha? Huh? Right? <laughs> they're eating it like this. I'm gonna try it that way. So it's got some like something on top. I just got the balut side. So good. No, you know the egg. It's like pudding right now. Do you see the egg pudding? Good. Wow. The flavor, so good. There's still the balut flavor, the super rich dark broth flavor. But then the sauce and stuff. So good. Hey, this is so good. I saw it. So it's the end. It's the end of my balut journey. I know you're supposed to put suka in your balut, diba? Right? But this is already really good for me. This is good. But then, the reason why it's good, the barbecue flavor, because he, he's grilling it on. The shempre, the grill, I can feel it. And then the sauce is so good. It's the best balut I've ever had. Guys, I'm sorry, but I already saw the eyes. We already matched our eyes, so... I can't. <laughs> I can't finish it, I'm sorry! Who can eat the balut the really real way? Do you guys like balut? Yes. No? Yes. No? Yes. 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 Bakit ayaw mo balot? Manghang daw. Manghang! Paano makain yung balot? Kumain yung balot? Uh, <laughs> 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 What's your name? Andy. Andy. Pwede mong turuan sa camera paano yung mag kumain yung balot? Okay. Paano kumain yung balot na Pinoy way? Ah, muna una po, sisipsipin natin yung sabaw. Mm -hmm. Sarap! It's okay? <laughs> water, water. Then, hmm? pag, pag... Are you okay? Water, water? Pag, water, first, water first. <laughs> Pagkatapos po natin sisipsipin yung sabaw, hmm. lagyan natin ng suka. Suka. Wow! Aloyin natin. Then, tutusokin po natin siya. Katapos po natin makuha. Siyempre, kakainin. Okay, kakainin na. Oh. Lagyan na ng suka. More suka. Yes. Yeah. Show me how to eat the, the sisiyo. Okay, there, there. Try that. Oh! There you go! Oh! This is it! She's good. You're gonna become a good girl. Alright guys, that was the end of our viral TikTok food tour here in Manila today. And each restaurant, really everyone knows na, like, oh that's a viral TikTok thing, right? So I'm really really happy that I tried something really viral and trendy while there weren't much people because today is actually a holiday. Yeah, even if though there were still a lot of people, so I can imagine during like weekdays it's overloaded. Everything I tried, starting from the palabok, really like I, I don't like palabok but so donut, like I did not expect those to taste that good, like being affordable as well. And then obviously the trending balut, it was really good. Really, I was shocked by the flavor. Although I couldn't have the CCO next time. I'm gonna train. I'm gonna get some mental care so I can think CCO that it's just a meat, okay guys? So I can try it next time. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! 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 Bye!